In this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the wavelength of a uh, single cycle of uh, an ultrasound waveform in a type of tissue. Now, if you think about it, the frequency at which the uh, disturbance is being generated, 6 megahertz, the frequency does not change no matter if you're in soft tissue or muscle, doesn't matter what type of tissue you're in, the frequency remains the same um, unless you get into uh, a moving reflection then you're going to change the frequency. But for now the frequency will remain the, ch the same and uh, but we know that the speed of propagation in the different tissues is different and so if we look at the formula for speed of propagation um, as being uh, C equals frequency times wavelength we can see that um, if the speed of propagation is changing and the frequency doesn't change then something else has to change and that, that something is the wavelength of the uh, sound impulse. So we're going to look at a single, a full cycle of the sound, a sinusoidal waveform um, generated by the 6 megahertz uh, uh, generator. And I guess if I were looking at it that way, it'd be, it'd be going this way, right? Going down like that. And ultimately the wavelength, uh, or really the wave pulse, is going to determine the resolution, the smallest feature that you can image with the ultrasonic transducer. So later on we'll look at the, the uh, uh, a pulse of sound that may consist of more than just one wavelength, but for now we'll just look at a single uh, wave cycle and calculate that. So, uh, for soft tissue, I have, um, well, first of all, let's look at uh, this. If I want to find the wavelength, I have to rearrange this formula. So, I'm going to divide both sides by the frequency and over here the frequency cancels so now I have a new equation lambda equals C over F where C is the velocity of or the speed of propagation of the sound in the tissue and F is the frequency of the transducer okay so I can um, I know that the speed of propagation is 1.54 millimeters per microsecond for the speed of sound in soft tissue and the frequency of the transducer is 6 uh, megahertz in this example. Okay, 6 megahertz. <clears throat> and um, well if I look at my units they don't appear to cancel obviously. I don't see how they would, it's not obvious to me at first glance how these units are going to cancel, how the megahertz are going to cancel the microseconds. So let's take a look at that over here on the side and if I consider that um, I'm just going to look at uh, something that if I have 6 megahertz looking at the base unit for that, that's equal to 6 times 10 to the 6th uh, per second. Okay. Now what I'd like to have, what would be nice would be if I had per microsecond on the bottom of this fraction so that I could cancel the per microsecond up on the top. And that's what it turns out I'll end up getting. If I look at uh, this as 6 times um, 1 over, since it's 10 to the 6th power, 1 over that is equal to 10 to the minus 6. Okay, these two numbers are the same. 10 to the 6 is equal to 10, 1 over 10 to the minus 6. And then my per second uh, is the same as 1 over seconds. So if I look at this part, um, that's equal to uh, 1 over 10 to the minus 6 seconds and this number can then be written as metric prefix micro microseconds. So this uh, is really equal to um, 6 per microsecond. So I can go back to my, to my formula now 
and rewrite that one as uh, lambda equals 1.54 millimeters per microsecond divided by, instead of 6 megahertz, I can just write 6 per microsecond. And so my wavelength, um, which I can calculate, uh, just divide these two, and if I do that on a calculator, I should get 0.257 um, millimeters. Okay, per microsecond cancels on the top and the bottom, so 0.257 millimeters. So a 6 megahertz transducer in soft tissue, a single cycle wavelength, the length of a single uh, cycle wave, is going to be 0.257 millimeters. And so it would be difficult to resolve anything much smaller than 0.257 millimeters, and we'll see that it's actually, the resolution is actually somewhat larger than that. Uh, when we look at a full pulse that may consist of more than one cycle of the waveform.